Hey there everybody, welcome back to Fly Tying for Beginners. This is going to be lesson 5 in the series and today we're going to be tying a fur ant pattern. For this pattern you're going to need as always your bobbin holder and your bobbin of thread. I'm using black thread today. You're going to need your fly head cement and your dubbing needle. You're also going to need black dubbing and a black hackle feather. I'm also using a number 12 or a size 12 uh, dry fly hook. All right. To start this pattern off we're going to tie in our thread like we do for every other fly. Trim our excess. And then starting from the eye of the hook we're going to wrap our all the way down to right at the bend of the hook and then let our, thre let our thread hang down. Take our little piece of black dubbing, you really don't need much at all. Spin that onto your thread and then you're going to wrap that right at where the bend of the hook is. I actually want that to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to put a little bit more on. Remember, it's always, it's always easier to add some dubbing than it is to take it off. So I start with a little bit, see how that looks, and then add more if I feel like it needs it. I feel like this one does, so I'm going to add a little bit more to it. Spin that one on my thread as well, the exact same way. and then continue with my wraps. All right, that looks better. Now you're gonna to wanna to take your piece of black hackle tie it in trim off your excess And then you're going to wrap, wrap your thread up to hmm, about maybe a third of the way down the shank of the hook. Take your hackle, wrap it around, and up the length of your hook, right about to where you, you know, leave, have your thread still hanging down. All right, hold that out. Tie in the hackle. And then trim your excess. These are going to be the legs of your ant. You're going to take more black dubbing, spin it onto your thread. You're going to take that to make the abdomen. And then do your whip finish or your double hitch knot at the end, right behind the eye of the hook. Trim your thread. And take your dubbing needle and your fly head cement. It's not one open, so I won't waste your time doing it now. But finish it off just the same way that we have all the other ones before this. Put your little dab of fly head cement on there to help seal that knot. Also, a lot of people trim these top ones off. Because it's just supposed to be the legs of the ant. So to keep them sticking off to the sides, but a lot of people trim off the top. You can leave them if you'd like to. Uh, I know some people that leave them, some people like myself, I personally prefer to trim them off. It's just a little bit, you know, makes it a little bit less clunky of a fly to cast. But there you go, that's your fur ant. Really good uh, top water, especially uh, on still waters. Uh, I, I, I tend to use it on a pond. 
I like that a lot. Um, it gets good reaction strikes once it hits the water, uh, specifically pretty close to the shore. Uh, super simple to tie, really effective, especially in still water. Um, if you would like to see more fly tying videos, check out my channel. I've got four other videos other than this one up right now and still am filming more. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you like what I'm doing, you'll get to see all my new videos as soon as they come out. And happy fishing!